Hi, this is Ryan from RapRiverClassroom.com and I'd like to introduce you to the RSS stacks from Joe Workman. These RSS stacks make it easy to take the RSS feed from your blog or from any blog on any website for that matter and place it anywhere in your website using the RSS stacks. Now there's a number of different ways that you can present that content so there's a number of different stacks available. These can be purchased individually or as a complete set in a bundle package. To begin with, let's take a look at the RSS list stack, and I've got two of those added to the top of this page. You can see one here, and then one here, and you can see as I hover over these items that it gives me a hover effect, which is optional, and then if I continue to hover, it pops up a tooltip that gives me a short description, kind of a preview of the content of that post. This is actually utilizing Joe's tip tip stack in order to dress up the tooltip, and so it's encouraged to utilize that tip tip stack along with the RSS stack in order to make that a bit prettier for your viewers. Again, you can simply display the titles of the entries with this list stack, and you can then set the amount of entries that you want to display at a time in the stack itself. On the right, I've actually got the RSS list stack placed inside of Joe Workman's styled stack, which dresses it up quite a bit, as you can see. I've also done the same thing here at the bottom with the full content stack. And so this is inside of the styled stack, which gives it a nice background and border. And then this displays the full content of the entry. And so you can see the title, the date, the actual content of the entry itself, a separator, and then it goes down to the next entry. So again, you can set the number of entries that you want to view inside of the stack in the full content stack. And so that is the point of this stack is to simply display all of it so that you're not linking out of the page to the blog. Next, let's take a look at the select stack. This is a stack that lets you um, pull feeds from multiple websites inside of one content area. And so you can see, first of all, we've got the um, blog for Joe Workman and then the blog entries below. There is a title, a date, a short description, and then a link to read more, which would take you to the full content of the blog. And then if you would like to select other RSS feeds to display, then you can drop down and have as many listed here as you'd like. And so I will show you a bit more about that in a minute. But first, let's continue and look at the rest of these RSS stacks in preview. Now, the remaining four all kind of tighten up um, the uh, feed into a small space. And so you can see here that this is just a horizontal stack that displays the um, titles of the blog entries in a kind of a typewriter animation. And so it will just scroll through those with that style. At any point, I could hover over in order to view the full content of that entry by clicking on the link. The fade stack is similar in the style. In this case, the entries will fade in and out for each. And of course, with all of these, you can set the speed by which these animate. The stream stack will again display horizontally and stream through the entries with the date and then the link for the blog title. Finally, the ticker stack is also similar in its horizontal view and then it will scroll vertically through the different blog titles. Again, you can set the speed for this so you can slow it down if you'd like. So that's an overview of all of the different um, RSS stacks. I want to take a quick moment to look at a couple of inspector HUDs for these stacks. In general, the um, uh, stacks are very easy to configure, very straightforward. All of them will require, of course, for you to enter a feed URL, which will go into this field. So this will be the URL of the RSS feed. And then in general, for most of these, you would set the number of items that you would like to display inside of the stack, as well as a length of description that you would like to include. Many of these also include different styling options, such as color pickers, as well as a few other options. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory to use all of these. I do want to take a quick look at the select stack because it is offering the ability to provide RSS feeds to multiple um, feeds. And the way that works is by first placing the select stack into the um, stacks page. And then here you will notice two additional feeds. And those are being pulled in using the RSS select feed stack. And so there are two different stacks at work here, the select stack and then the select feed stack. And so at any time I could drop in an additional select feed stack, place that here, and then configure the title and the feed URL. Again, the rest are very simple and straightforward to set up. 
and the result is a very nice way of presenting the RSS feed to your viewers through any page of your website in Rapid Weaver. So that is the RSS stacks from Joe Workman.